All right, guys, for this assignment, you need to go back to 2.8.5 and copy and paste the code into this assignment, Unit 3, Section 3.5. So I've gone back to 2.8.5 right here. I just made it my weekly stuff. Remember, I changed this just a little bit to match my own purposes. But all I'm going to do is press Control-A, which is Select All, and then I do Control-C, which is Copy. So I've just copied down all the code, even though I don't have to look all the way down. Then I go back into the assignment, I do the same thing, control A, select all, and I'm gonna I'm gonna um, get rid of this by just clicking on control V, pressing control V, which is to paste all the code that I had already had in 2.8.5. So this is what we get, and from there, I'm going to show you the, the the page before. So before it didn't have any text on it, right? Like this. But as soon as I reload, it now shows my table with all of the things that I had inside the table, okay? With my level one header, and I think it was a back, uh, well, a border. Yeah, we made it three, it looks like. Well, with this, what we're going to be doing is making a style sheet for uh, this table, okay? So I'm gonna come up here to my metadata, and underneath the title, I'm going to give myself a new style sheet, like this. Okay, so you see I've got the close of my style sheet, I'm going to need a couple extra lines of code just to work with. And then I can come back up here and inside inside my style sheet now, which I'm working inside the head. And again, that's very easy to see because I got this indentation of style, which is further indented inside the head. So I can see it's clearly inside the head. Okay. So the style sheet, we're going to start by working with the table. So I've got table, open uh, fancy brackets, close fancy brackets, and now I'm ready to style the table. And uh, you'll want to follow the assignment based on the instructions there, but for me, I'm just going to make the width, uh, well, just make it 100%, and we're going to give it a font, F-O-N-T dash F-A-M-I-L-Y, font family, colon, and we're just going to make this a uh, hell H-E-L-V-E-T-I-C-A and that will make the table have these characteristics. So I go to save and I run this and we can see it changed the, the font family, right, to Helvetica and it gives the width its exact width on this. So that looks pretty good for the table. Now that I've got the table in there, uh, what we're now going to do is start giving um, some classes to our code. And I'm gonna start with the header class and you can see my header class is in here for the days of the week. So we're gonna start with the class, so that's dot, and we're gonna call it the header class. Open fancy brackets, close fancy brackets like this, and we're going to give the attributes to the header class. We're going to make it a background, B-A-C-K-G-R-O-U-N-D dash C-O-L-O-R, that's background color, and uh, let's see if we can find ourselves a good color from the color names on this one. So, oh, that looks pretty good. How about olive drab? So let's do that one. We're going to make uh, give this the color olive, O-L-I-V-E-D-R-A-B. Olive drab. And what does this do for us? Uh, well, right now it doesn't do anything because guess what I didn't do? I did not assign this class to any specific rows. I can do that now just so we can start seeing the changes. So in the table row for my table headers down here, I'm now going to give it the class, C-L-A-S-S, -S, equals quotation, and then it's H-E-A-D-E-R. That's the name that I gave this row. So with this change now, I should be able to reload, and you can see it gave this header row the background color of olive drab. All right, next up, what we're going to be doing is giving each of the rows their own color. Now we're going to specifically give the odd rows their own color and then the even rows their own color. So the first row will be of course odd, the second row will be even, and the third row will be odd. So we need to assign these classes, but let's go ahead and figure out what class, uh, what we want to name the class. Okay, so dot, is, which is the class, and since I'm going to start with row one, I'm going to give it the odd odd row name on this. So, 
with the odd row, I got the fancy brackets, and then the close of the fancy brackets, and now I'm ready to start giving some characteristics to our odd rows. Well, what characteristics you want to give it may be completely different than the ones that I give it, but at least for now, we have this set up. I did forget something. I, I need to go back to do that, but I, I completely forgot. I'll get to it, though. But let's finish the odd rows. Um, we're going to give it the background, B-A-C-K-G-R-O-U-N-D dash C-O-L-O-R colon, and we're going to give it the color. Again, let's go back to our colors and see if we can find a good one in this. Hmm, how about uh, sandy brown? That looks pretty good. So we're going we're gonna to give this the sandy brown color. And uh, even though I haven't assigned this, I can save it again just to show you. It's not going to work. Whoops, wrong page right there. This is not going to work because I didn't assign these odd rows the odd row class. So I'm going to come down here to the first row, and we're going to give it the class equals, and uh, quotation, this is odd, O-D-D dash R-O-W, close quotation on that. And it should at least change that one row right there, which it did. And since I have that, now I can skip the next row and go to this last row right here and also give it the class of ODD dash R O W, close quotations. And again, this should change this second row now that I have that code in there. Or the third row, sorry. Okay, so what did I forget? Uh, let's come back up here in the header. We need a little bit more stuff in this. So for the header, we also want to give it a font, F-O-N-T dash S-I-Z-E colon, and uh, what the heck, let's just make it 20 pixels. And again, we can see what changes that will produce. So if I run this now, we can see it changed that a little, a little bit bigger is what it looks like. And the last thing we want here is a text color for our, whoops, wrong, wrong tag there. I need to be in the class header to give it a color and uh, again, you choose whatever color you want, I suppose. Uh, you may have to follow along with the assignment on this. Choose whatever color they tell you to use, but I'm gonna choose white, and I like that contrast between the green and the white. So the last thing we need from our code here is to work with the, um, the even rows, because we have the odd rows right there, so now we're gonna go to the even row class, that's dot, and we're going to call this E-V-E-N, even dash rows this time. Close, fa uh, open fancy bracket, close fancy brackets. And now we're going to give this one also the background, B-A-C-K-G-R-O-U-N-D dash C-O-L-O-R colon. And uh, again, let's see if we can find a decent color to use. At least from the color names. Mm -hmm. How about light salmon? That looks pretty good. So let's go in here and make this L-I-G-H-T. Um, uh, you know what? Let's change that. Let's change it. Let's change it to light coral. That looks even better. So L-I-G-H-T-C-O-R-A-L semicolon. Save it. Now, did I give, did I apply that class to the second row? I didn't. So I need to go back down here and in that second row. We need to apply the class equals quotations and this one is even dash row close quotations and now if I run this we should see the change and there it is that's um, what was it light coral or whatever it is and that looks pretty good so with this that is all we needed for this assignment in fact I'll just check we got the even and odd rows we did the colors put that in there yeah if you want to put padding in there that would be fine but I'm not going to do it um, so this is good enough this is the code that we got let's see if we can take a look at more code yeah, something like this and we only worked well we actually made the style sheet and then we gave it some uh, or we applied some classes these three classes here and then gave the table some attributes also but there's the code and I'll scroll down here to show you the rest of it And that's it right there. So thanks for watching this video, you guys. We'll see you in the next one.